Hey guys so i'm back from the food truck festival um i didn't buy any food just because first of all the prices were a little crazy to me like one thing was like 20 to 25 well 20 to 30 dollars um i'm sure it probably wasn't like that at all of the trucks but the two that i was even interested in the prices were off the chain so I was like, I'm not about to pay like $30 for something that's probably not even about to be all that. Like it was literally like fish and chips or I was going to get like shrimp and fries or something like that. Like something real basic um, that I can get like anytime. My doorbell just rang because I got this package. I'm in the bed so that I can show y'all why I got the package. Because <laughs> I know some of y'all are going to be like, what? But when I'm laying here watching TV, you see how, you know, my feet are in the way. And that gets kind of like uncomfortable, like, because sometimes they'll pop stuff up down here. And, you know, it'll be like blocking the TV. So basically, that's a stand to put on the back of the TV so that it can raise the TV up higher. It was about $25. Um, so I'm about to install that onto the tv and hopefully i like it but i'll show y'all how it looks once i um install it so much better this already feels like more comfortable when i'm laying down i don't have to be straining my neck trying to look down at the tv but yeah my feet are all the way down here now <laughs> i might get a larger tv at some point but this is really decent for this size room so yeah hey guys so um my mother's birthday is in two days, so I'm just standing here wrapping her gift. Um, I just came from Dollar Tree picking up this little um, gift wrap. It has balloons on it and um, 
I also grabbed these two bags because I'm gonna let my son give her one bag and then I'm gonna give her the other bag. I know these look kind of childish, but that's all they had. <laughs> um, it's not all they had, but like the adult stuff, they only had like a metallic red and like she doesn't really like red like that. So, so I got her a bunch of little snacks that she likes. <laughs> It's funny little stuff like, you know, literally just a bunch of little candy. And this is what I bought her. I'm trying to leave this on, but it's basically one of the Google displays. It's my sister calling back. <laughs> I guess. No, it's actually her. Okay, so let me leave out of the room so she doesn't see anything. And since the fall is coming, I'm really into like big oversized shirt so i got a couple of men's shirts i got that one the brand is van Heusen. um i feel like they used to sell that at macy's when i worked there i got this j crew shirt and yeah i just it's like a soft material so i feel like it's gonna be really cozy in the fall which i mean is literally days away and i got this gap men's jacket i mean men's shirt oh i got something else too but i already put it in my closet so i got that and i found these they still had the tag on them <laughs> but i thought this was just really like different um it could almost look like costumey but i'm fine like i'm still gonna wear them and i got this hoodie um it's kind of hard to find just like basic hoodies especially at a good price um and when i say basic i mean ones that zip all the way down or not like a pullover version so yeah all this stuff was like 30 dollars maybe 32 dollars but when you really think about it that's still really good savings like what is this four shirts and they're pretty much no they're not all name brand because like this and this black one isn't but i feel like gap and j crew like these would have been pretty expensive if i would have bought them at a store i don't even know like how much these would have been but probably not that much probably like ten dollars or something but yeah i like everything i got and yeah i've just been doing a bunch of laundry i'm so glad that washer is fixed i swear like that would have been so annoying to have to purchase another washer um i probably would have just went to the laundry mat <laughs> like i'm literally not buying another washer um this is the second one i've bought within what 10 years and that's just not a long enough time like my mother had an old washer that she had for years like and it was nothing wrong with it so i guess when i go back outside i can get some gas um and if it stops raining it almost sounds like it stopped raining not really though it kind of still sounds like it's raining but if it stops within you know the next few hours then i'll go to that festival again um i don't know if i showed y'all the food that i cooked for my mother's birthday i don't think so but i made some steak macaroni and cheese and greens and it was really good so i'm still like <laughs> eating off that it was kind of like a little mini thanksgiving meal but she was really excited because she's like it tastes like my food and like my mother is a really good cook um so i always try to like you know make my food taste like hers or just go off like memory so yeah she was glad <laughs> that you know i was able to kind of capture her little flavoring or whatever so 
my hair is still damp because I just, you know, jumped up and ran out the house. So I got hair gel in it still. Um, I don't know, but I'm about to take these clothes back off because I can't get comfortable with clothes on. Like, that's just a fact. <laughs> I just cannot... Like, first of all, once I'm outside and I've, like, sat in my car, I can't come in the house and just, like, sit on my bed. That's so nasty to me. Um, Like, I've cleaned my car seats and stuff, but it is a used car. And it's like, I don't know who's been sitting in the seats before me. So, I never want to just, like, come in the house and sit directly on my bed. Like, it kind of bothers me that people do that with my couch but i'm never on the couch anyway so not really hey guys so <laughs> i just got to this outdoor festival i found a park thank god I, I had to like spot this from afar i was like literally down the hill and i saw like this bright green truck up here with their like lights on like they were about to pull off so i had to like come around the corner and like come back and get this and luckily they really left so that was so lucky because it's literally no parks out here um but it's like a rainy day it's weird because i was like am i even going to be able to go down there but um anyway i made me a little drink before i left <laughs> before i left the house um i didn't drink any yet but like i just started sipping on it after i got in the park so yeah made that because i'm not about to pay 15 dollars for a drink when i got one at home <laughs> but um yeah that was like the main goal was to find a park that's pretty close um it's like humid today though so it's kind of annoying because it's rainy and humid like you would think that it would be just like cold out here but it's actually hot um I cannot stand humidity like that really makes me want to keep my hair short because when my hair grows out and then it's humid it's just like a nightmare um but yeah I mixed cranberry juice and sangria it's like this much cranberry juice in here and the rest of sangria but um I'm trying to drink that in the I mean in the car because this girl was mean mugging the shit out of me. Um, but anyway, I was trying to drink this one because I have a little <laughs> bottle of cranberry juice too, but that's like sangria too. So I poured half in this cup and left half in the actual bottle because when I'm out like walking, I feel like I can carry that and it won't look like a drink. Because <clears throat> there's like a lot of cops out here. So I wouldn't want to look like, you know, I'm really just drinking. <sighs> I hope this isn't that long train. And it is a long train. It's not an Amtrak. Yeah, so um, there's actually a lot of people out here for it to be a rainy day. I'm shocked. Um, because I thought they were going to, like, cancel the whole festival. But they actually didn't. This was my niece, but it's not. Um, it's so weird because like, there's literally a little um, cut through spot right there. Like if you go around and come under that bridge, you can go under this train but people always like sit out here and wait like they don't know about that little um shortcut i mean i just recently found out about it so um they have like little tents for people to perform in like the people that are going to be actually singing and stuff 
they have tents for them so they must have kind of known it was going to be raining um people are really sitting here waiting and it's so crazy to me like just k-turn and get out of here because that train could take like all day I counted the cars up here one time and it was like 77 cars on the train. I don't know if you call them cars or like <laughs> segments or what, but it was a lot of them. So, but y'all, I tried to tell two people, right, that they could take the little shortcut. The first lady like shooed me away as I was telling her and I'm like, you little bitch. <laughs> she was literally like no or something did her hand like this and I'm like I'm trying to help you out and you're acting like I'm out here trying to like get something from you mm. so I was like whatever I'm just gonna stop telling people y'all can sit up here all day I'm so like paranoid about my window being rolled down um, cause I always feel like people could just come like do something to you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not super bad with it, but I'm always like aware of my surroundings. And there's a lot of like sketchy people in this area. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, I'm always like on it. Like, okay, who's outside my window? But... Damn, the little boy sneezed from like two blocks away and I heard it. He was like, Ach. <laughs> So, um, I have like a really silly brother. <laughs> He's probably watching this, but yeah, my brother kind of rubbed off on me when I was younger. So now I could be like silly. I probably don't seem silly to most of y'all because I'm like, you know, I know I could seem like monotone and really calm or whatever but um i'm actually really silly once you get to know me and i kind of get that from my brother because he was always like really goofy <laughs> so we used to just be in the house doing stupid stuff um yeah he's still in new jersey i wish kind of he was down here but not really, because he probably wouldn't really enjoy it. Um, but he might. I mean, I don't know. It does kind of seem like he would get along with people down here. But, I mean, of course, he has kids and stuff. So, it's like he can't just, you know, pick up and leave where his kids live. Because um, if I had kids, I wouldn't, you know, have moved to North Carolina. If they had to stay up there, you know, so... I get it it's crazy like um when you're a female you just kind of automatically have you know the rights to your kids or like you can control where your kids are more so unless there's like I hate to say unless there's something wrong with you but y'all know what I mean like if you or unstable or have like a drug issue or something like that I could see like the father having all the power but I mean nine times out of ten it's like the female just ends up with the kid so it's weird oh so a squirrel almost just ran under a car but he turned around fast that was a smart squirrel okay squirrel you're just playing in the street now like you want to get hit just don't squirt over here toward me if you do. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds so mean, but yeah, I'm always scared of that, like running over roadkill, cause I'm like, it was something gonna like pop up on me or on my car. But anyway, let me start recording before I use all the space on the camera, and I haven't even got out the car yet. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so it finally started raining. I knew it was going to be raining out here, but um, it's kind of empty down there. Like, it's 
really not um, a lot going on right now. So, I don't know. I was trying to just come out here for the weather. <laughs> but now it's kind of ruined because it's actually raining. Um, they have food trucks, but I don't really want any. I need to hold the thing up here because <laughs> at least I have an umbrella to kind of block the camera now. So it doesn't look as weird vlogging. But, um. Yeah, I don't really feel like going to a food truck. Um, I'd rather just go to like an actual restaurant. Um, so, I'm just wondering why doesn't everybody have an umbrella? Because it definitely looked like it was going to pour down like all day. So, I'm just saying, how is it that people still are out here <laughs> with no umbrellas? like that's just so funny to me i don't know if like people just enjoy getting wet but like i mean sometimes it could feel good when it's like that you know carl thomas some <laughs> summer rain or whatever but it's not really like that right now so i'm just wondering why people are out here with shorts on but no umbrella so yeah I'm probably just gonna I don't know I need to go over here and see like what they're selling in these little things because there's vendors but then again I don't really feel like walking up because I don't want to spend any money <laughs> to be 100% honest like I'm not trying to be spending money out here so, yeah, I probably just walk back to the car. Every time I drink, like, alcoholic beverages, I just have to, like, instantly pee. I used to hate going to the club, and then, like, you have to wait in line to get to the bathroom. Like, I think that's probably why I stopped going out. Not just that, but, like, it was a lot of factors. Like, you have to actually buy a new outfit. Because I would want to buy, like, a brand new outfit when I would go out. Because, like... You know when you go out you like take pictures and all of that so i want to buy like a brand new outfit every week so that wasn't really making sense um i'm about to go look for some spinelli boots it's like no <laughs> i'm saying that if any of y'all ever watch recess um then you know that one of the characters spinelli had like these huge chunky boots but I was looking through my Pinterest at my fall outfits album because I have like a whole little system on Pinterest and I just realized like okay all my pictures literally have like these boots right here. Um, now the boots themselves are pretty ugly to me but um, I feel like they really make an outfit because literally all of my posts like i counted like 12 posts that i um have on pinterest and they all are wearing those boots so i've come to the conclusion that i need to just get some of the freaking boots now i just bought some other combat boots from amazon but i don't really want that style because i feel like it's not really gonna give what the other boots are giving now these are the ones that i um bought but i always you know get this style of combat boots but i like these because they had the little you know whatever you call that crocodile whatever print on it or texture um but i'm gonna return those i believe anyway if i can find the boots that i actually want so i'm gonna like look for the other boots first before i just return those but um yeah so i think that tj maxx sells styles like that um i saw some on belk.com so they claim they have three in the store so i might need to just go straight to belk but i don't know i don't really trust the whole online um inventory because you get to these stores and then they're like oh we don't really have it <laughs> so um I was just going to go to TJ Maxx where I feel like I have a better chance at actually finding some. 
I don't know. This isn't like New Jersey at all. Like you, you have kind of a limited amount of stores that you can shop at in North Carolina. Um, it's weird because it's like more big retailers, but in New Jersey, it was like the in the cut spot. So like the stores that you'll never really hear about, but they have the dopest stuff in them. So kind of miss that about New Jersey, the shopping, but I mean, not necessarily because you can always just order stuff online. Um, I have to get this little boy dressed and take him. <laughs> He wants to show y'all this on his little. <laughs> Here. He's so silly. Ain't they bad? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I didn't record while I was out, but I got these. Um, now, like I said, I've always looked at these like they're not cute or, you know, <laughs> it's like the gothic girl type boot. But y'all, I don't know. All the outfits that I like on Pinterest literally include these so got some of those i actually went grocery shopping too um i'm just sticking these in the closet real fast i ran into an old well my friend from um the club <laughs> she was like my only friend there basically like every time we were at the club we would be like together so yeah i hadn't seen her in like 40 years so i finally just ran into her um I was trying to go like meet back up with her when I realized I was pregnant but now she's pregnant and it's crazy like it's like she named so many people that have had kids since I left the club and it's crazy um I mean the bartender the two of the dancers and I think she said one girl had two kids so I mean it's crazy it was a lot of girls that were pregnant while i was still at a different club um like they were showing pregnant like six months <laughs> i'm like girl why are you still here um now i stayed until i was like three months and um i don't know if i could have worked with a whole you know pregnant <laughs> stomach but anyway um, I mean, I, I totally understand wanting to because I would have wanted to keep going if I could have, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, it was fun running into her. We like sat out at a little table and talked. Um, she was like, girl, you should come back to the club. I'm like, girl, I'm old. <laughs> like, I'm about to really be 36 in nine days. Now, I know I don't look like it necessarily. I'm not saying, oh, I look too old, but um it's just i don't know it would be crazy but i would definitely do it as long as i got more in shape like i would need to lose a little bit more stomach yeah like i would definitely want to lose some more stomach before i went back talking about dancing <laughs> um but i would do it like i would definitely do it just because i know like it wasn't really crazy it sounds like a crazy thing but i'm gonna make it into whatever i want it to be so it's just some things that i'm never doing regardless of my atmosphere regardless of who it is all of that doesn't matter oh <laughs> speaking of the club i was laughing earlier because i went to walmart <laughs> was like oh i don't even have any files she was like are you okay with one so i was like girl yeah i used to work at the club <laughs> so when she when she was giving me the money she was like well <laughs> i was dying like girl you're stupid um wait let me count yeah 14 dollars i just returned one of my son's toys because he was like I hate it now. I was like, you little chicken nugget head. I call him chicken nugget head all the time. But, um, first he was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. You know, y'all know he's like dramatic. So he's like, this is so amazing. But then he comes like bringing it into the living room where I was like, mama, can you throw 
throw this away because I hate it now. <laughs> so, yeah, I just went and returned that. Um, and that's where I saw her. So, like, everything literally happens for a reason. And then he, like, said her name today. Because he was like, oh, do you know how to spell this name? I'm not going to say her name, but he was like, do you know how to spell this name? Because it's like one of his cartoon character names or his cartoons that he watches is one of the characters name. And um, yeah, I was just thinking about her the other day. Well, I've thought about her multiple times because that was literally like my best friend in the club. Um, and y'all know I don't even have other friends, so you can pretty much say it was my best friend. Now, I was cool with one other girl that used to work at Macy's. Um, that's like my only other female friend because I just like you got to be real cool because my other friends have like kind of destroyed my hope in friendships, so I don't really mess with too many girls. Like, you got to seem like a really genuine, cool person for me to even want to be bothered. So it was literally like two girls that I was even cool with since I've been in North Carolina. But anyway, y'all, let me go because I'm about to go get my mother some stuff from Walmart and um, take my son some food. So.